Hello everyone, I am Left, and welcome to my breakdown of the most important and basically just most all of the changes in Vainglory Update 2.10, which came out today, the day that I'm uploading this video. So there were a lot of different hero balance changes and some item balance changes too. There weren't any map changes or general meta changes, but first of all, a new hero was added, Lorelei, and... Honestly, I can't really say much about her. She's a support, but she hasn't been out long enough for anybody to definitively say where she stands. So let's move into the um, influential hero changes that happened in this update. I'm going to just list them all out and highlight the ones that I think are most important. First, Alpha was nerfed slightly in her ultimate cooldown, but she's still going to be viable. Now, it also Aftershock was nerfed, which will hurt her CP path a little bit, but I don't think the Aftershock nerf is enough to completely kill her. Arden's perk was nerfed, which will hopefully, or which will probably not be enough to decrease his usage rate. CP Baron is now a thing, as I have been testing it a little bit since the update launch. Jump Jet's startup production now scales with crystal power as well, and the cooldown and energy cost of Porcupine Mortar was reduced significantly. Seriously, try CP Baron, I think you're actually going to like it now. Basically every aspect of Blackfeather besides his base stats was all nerfed. Um, yeah, read the patch notes, I'll link them in the description. Literally everything about Blackfeather was nerfed. Catherine's stun was reduced in energy cost. Across the board, all items that grant bonus energy and energy recharge were buffed. Celeste's Heliogenesis now costs less energy to use. Flicker had his Fairy Dust cooldown reduced, and the duration of his ultimate increased. Glaive's life steal per bloodsong stack was increased from 1 to 1.2% per stack. This is a big and very noticeable change when you're playing Glaive. Look for him to return to the meta shortly, as seriously, this is huge. The falloff time and passive generation time of Grumpjaw's living armor were increased and reduced respectively. Also, Hangry now gives him more bonus attack speed. Idris's shroud step had its cooldown reduced, and his ultimate now cleanses movement debuffs upon use. The impact weapon damage of Kestrel's Glimmer Shot was removed, or the bonus impact weapon damage of Kestrel's Glimmer Shot was removed. Now it is 100% at all levels, but armor piercing per level was added to compensate. Kroll's health was reduced. Rez's ultimate now cleanses movement impairments on activation. Saw's base defenses were reduced, and his base weapon power was slightly reduced. Samuel's Malice and Verdict now costs less energy to cast. Sky's forward barrage energy cost was decreased, and its damage was increased. Scarf's base health was increased. Petal's trampoline weapon crystal amplifying was nerfed. Rhyme's range was increased a little bit, but literally every other thing about him was nerfed. The first activation of Winter Spire, the second activation of Winter Spire, the cooldown of Chill Winds, the damage of his root, Valkyrie, literally everything about Rhyme has been nerfed. Gwen's Buckshot had its crystal ratio increased and its cooldown reduced. This works pretty well with Spellfire and Clockwork now, as Spellfire was also buffed. But wa So watch out for Crystal Gwen, Gwen this patch. Also, Skedaddle had its cooldown reduced and it now blocks displacements, so you will no longer get punted by Afterburn. You will block the stun and stay in place. Now let's move on to items. The duration of the block on Aegis was increased from 1 to 1 1.5 seconds. The armor of Atlas Pauldron was increased by 10. The percent health damage of Aftershock was reduced from 15 to 14%. This is a welcome change. Breaking Point now takes 160 weapon power per stack rather than 140. Clockwork got a massive buff for um, energy recharge and bonus energy. Crucible was changed so that combining its recipe no longer loses you health. Echo was nerfed and every, energy, every other energy item was buffed. Now, Echo was nerfed on its reactivation cooldown, not on the energy it gives. The energy it gives was buffed. Spellfire also received a buff on the way that it calculates the burn damage, and Frostburn had its cost decreased. So that is all. Of, those are all of the changes that I think are most important in update 2.10. Um, if you watch out for Gwen Crystal Power, watch out for Crystal Baron, try Glaive, he's actually pretty incredible now. And so yeah, that's it guys, shorter video today, that's why I did like two in three days, so I will see you guys all later.